welcome to the history hunter welcome to my small adventures with the world war ii time frame and good morning to all of you nice people out there today you're going to join me i'm on a road trip visiting several locations during a few days and this location has got a very special small uh, construction that the germans did on the atlantic wall fortification line and um, i just want you to see it because it's quite unique and i'll definitely show you some images that you can enjoy right here now today still frosty uh it's about minus three now in the morning oh my god it's actually really really cold in the hands but i got some gloves but they're not thick so I'm just gonna walk for a while and get warm in that way would you look at that one of the rewards of being alone outside very early in the morning when no one else is around is the tranquility, it's the peace, it's the quiet. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. This is the kind of beach area that the Germans feared an allied, allied invasion and that's why they built the Atlantic Wall fortification line. Uh, it's all on the west coast of lots of countries in Europe. It stretches all the way from um, the south of France to the absolute tip of uh, Scandinavia. And uh, the Germans put up tens of thousands of uh, constructions uh thinking that that would be sufficient to keep any allied attack away from the coastline we all know how that went so that was not a good idea we're getting close but walking here on the beaches of the atlantic wall fortification line makes me wonder how big the madness must have been thinking that if you just put on thousands of bunkers you'll be able to shut out any intervention from from the Allied. For me, it's absolutely madness to think that that would be even a thought in those days. But, you know, that was how it was. So, but still, it's like an absolutely incredible thought to imagine that that would actually be the case, that you can keep any enemy out in that way absolutely total failure as history proved <laughs> typical i just walked past a farmer's fence and it was actually barbed wire from the germans and their activity here in the area there is our object for today we're going to have a close look of course uh, this is a vf sk mg very often called octagon machine gun bunker and uh, i've shown you some of them earlier but the main difference with this one is what you see on the top that is very very rare to see and that makes it special and that's why i want to have a look at it let's start the little tour of this magnificent construction here um, you can see typical what you would call a pillbox but it's a machine gun bunker same as you can read about in normandy and all of the beaches there um, you have one entrance there you have one entrance there you will have like openings on several sites and as i said this one has got something very special on top and i'm looking so much forward to actually see that i've never seen that type of uh, before and uh, I'm going to show you some features inside, outside, and on the top. So let's have a look inside. I very rarely seen any doors or anything in the front here. Maybe they had something there, but they were normally, as I've seen, always open before because the, the crew would go very quickly in if there was an alarm. And uh, first, what me says is that wall on the inside. I'll tell you a little bit about that. Oh, look at that that's a small detail yeah that's nice that is actually one of the power supply systems that they had see the connectors are still there and um, that's nice and you see the cable coming down 
from uh, from 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 the ground there came coming up from here and in there connection and then you have your communication equipment or whatever you you wanted to use it's ready and available right there so when we enter further in here you can see suddenly there's a wall here and let me show you the purpose of that wall the purpose of that wall is to prevent whatever came in from that side to enter the bunker here it's like a splinter shrapnel wall Imagine someone trying to throw in a hand grenade, that would be a bit difficult. And if there was a bomb drop, the splinter will actually be uh, stopped by that wall. So it doesn't look like it has some important mission, but it actually was a very important structure in this bunker. See here, the roof is curved. Always wondered why it's like this on the inside, because it's like f almost flat on the top. But maybe it had a purpose. But this is the main event, those openings, that was where they could put out or stick out whatever they wanted. Could be a Panzerfaust, a K98, Mauser, MG42, whatever. So we have like one, two, three, four, and five of those all the way around the perimeter. And Basically, they would have a mount here, very often it's torn out and the mount for a machine gun would be here and it could pivot around like this. And just imagine the firing power coming out of five guys with machine gun here and then just imagine how much noise that would make. If you hear my voice in here, it's like a small echo. Just imagine. You must be absolutely deaf after being inside here. Um, still trying to figure out what these are for. They are very often in these kind of um, what we call octagon machine gun bunkers. See, they are all over here. Maybe they were shelf for stocking munition. I, I really couldn't tell, but it's always there and I've never found out what they're for. So from the middle here, that's one entrance with that dividing wall, which was very important. And you have this one. So it's like a symmetrical uh, thing. And uh, I still wonder what these curved roofs are for and why. Maybe it was stronger in that way, you know. Closer view of the wall on this side. And it might look like a very simple construction, but just imagine how effective it would be. And I'll show you some details on the outside that actually took care of the crews. And uh, the sheer thickness of the walls did that, of course, with the roof. And just look at the small opening for the enemy to get into from the outside. That makes it very tough to break and uh, this can take a lot of punishment before the crew inside would uh, surrender. On the outside, on both of these, there are this raised level there. I always wonder what that was for. Maybe it's just to complete that frame. Oh, I dumped my head here. Crap. Maybe it's to complete the frame to make something like a door or oh, I'm not sure but I've never ever seen a door there so um, but I'm guessing it's to keep that square intact if you wanted to put a panzer door see in all there. rock piled up on the outside here that is something that the Germans were very meticulous of doing and why they did it well it was to blend the bunker into the terrain that's one thing but also it will make a natural barrier and protection for the crews inside so very often it would be like you see here they would stack the rocks all the way up to the uh, where they could shoot out from in that way it will dampen whatever came in and sometimes they would actually also put uh, dirt and the soil all the way up to over half the height here and in that way even prevented more but they had to have you know range going from this side to this side so you couldn't build too much on the sides here but this is something that i'd like to to say um 
very often you see a wooden frame in there and you'd say okay that is made to build the concrete uh, in this fashion and blah 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 yeah it is but at the same time they thought all right this will dampen any shots coming in so it ricochets between these edges and you know the corners here wouldn't be that dramatic so they just actually left it there so in that way this would take care of the crew even more so that's the first shutter coming into this one here they haven't put anything in you can still see the uh, the wood in the square there and from here there's the thing I'm so excited to actually go up there and have a look but uh, I'm gonna do that last and uh, this part is not that uh, built in we got this one here the same thing and suddenly we have something going on on this side and I wonder why you see that I'm gonna go on top of this place here see that you have this thing on this side and you have this thing on this side and you have one of the openings there and I wonder why why was that built like that you can see here on this side they pile up normally it would maybe go even higher very nice very nice If we can get up there really really would like to see what's on the top so I'm gonna do my best I'll probably see if I can step on from that I don't have any ropes for me today so uh, this is gonna be tricky but I want to see what's on top and you'll probably also do that so let's go up on the top there yay managed to get up I'm not that old I may be a little bit fat but I can actually do it <laughs> so I'm going to walk around to the entrance there and I'm going to start showing you what this is all about. All right, this is the entrance from the roof, but look at this. That is just straight down three meters. So how the heck did I get up here? Did they have a ladder? Did they have a staircase built here? I don't know. Maybe they just have to do what we did. But look at this. This is what's up here. It's actually either a 20 millimeter flat gun position that they put up here or they had maybe machine gun crew sitting here wow i've never ever seen anything like it look at that it's like a small fortification by itself on the top here and here are the camouflage canvas hooks and you see these pockets that is cast into the concrete there that is for for munition wow i really love this this is so special look at that that's you know creativity at its best they found out that well we need something more here and they made this maybe just by their own will or they got permission from the headmasters to do this <laughs> so that's one of the ammo pockets but do you want to see what they saw well let's have a look at that this is their view. Look at that. 
that must have been amazing to sit here in the summertime, you know, relaxing, having a coffee, talking about the uh, homeland. Look at that. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Surprised to see so many pocket hairs. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, long one, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. You know, that one could easily be a resting place for a rangefinder. You know, the stereoscopic rangefinder, I found some pieces of that before. I think that's uh, what they had in there actually. And then there would be maybe just um, pockets for the uh, flak 20 millimeter, two centimeter. Yeah, that could make sense. Maybe some communication equipment coming up there. Have a couple, three uh, ammo pockets, a rangefinder. Some pockets there for more ammo, maybe equipment like binoculars. Wow, interesting. <laughs> I'm into details, you know. Look at that, that's the surface of the regular Regelbau build, the Octagon machine gun bunker. And this is the slab <laughs> on the top there. Absolutely, totally different, huh? So this is the quality work of the Operation Tot. Maybe this is something that one of the officers said, I want a 20 millimeter up there, schnell! So, they put that up with not the same position as these guys. Wow, <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Beautiful little spot on the Atlantic Wall fortification line. Hope you enjoyed it. I really did. Showing you this special, unique uh, design of an uh, Octagon machine gun bunker. It's been a pleasure. I uh, should thank you to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. You're making this come true. And also, of course, all of you subscribers, commenters and viewers. I really appreciate all you do for us. So until next time, I'll definitely be back with more from this road trip. So see you later and have a nice day.